Time again when we reflect on Brexit, 52% to 48%, the margin by which Britain voted to leave the EU, and we're just after 52 minutes past the hour. And uh, I think we can go now uh, to uh, the North Sea and Joe Tidy, who's continuing uh, his voyage on the trawler, uh, speaking to fishermen about Brexit. Uh, Joe, what's the latest? Well, we are about uh, 60 miles away from Norway, from the very uh, southern eastern tip of Norway, about 200 miles away from where we left on Thursday afternoon in uh, Peterhead in northeast Scotland. And I've been learning what it's like to be on a trawler, been learning about the highs and lows. Uh, I've had my first proper night's sleep last night. Before that, I was getting uh, not, not doing very well on the sleep front. Uh, Lots and lots of choppy waves, but today, as you can see, it's nice and calm out here, and um, we're hoping for some nice weather for the next couple of days at least. The fish is going very well, but I've been learning about the quota system, and that's one of the main reasons why something like 99.5%, so I'm told, of fishermen voted to leave the European Union. It's the same reason why we're here away in the Norwegian sector because the quota system has been a, a bugbear for a long time for British fishermen. They say they're being unfairly uh, handed out allocation of quota for the fish in their own waters. The, the, uh, the, 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 the equation that's often talked about is if there are a million fish caught in British waters, British fishermen only get about 150,000 uh, tons of that. So that's, this is the problem that the fish have and they've all voted or many voted to leave and now the question is will they get what they want from the renegotiations which of course will start hopefully in March. Joe thank you very much Steve well we'll have to uh, hope the government has got a plan indeed.